Hey guys, Sarah Aquasombi here with Marley, my little helper. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to restyle your bookshelves. So I'm gonna redo mine as an example. I styled them probably a couple of months ago, but they've become a bit of a dumping ground for like random stuff around the house as usual. So I'm gonna restyle mine by stripping them completely, going to find little bits and bobs around the house and redoing them. And I'll talk you through every step of the way. Sound good? Sound good? So I've gone around the flat and I've looked for lots of different kind of statement objects that are in different sort of sizes and they also have different textures and kind of colours and finishes as well. And what I'm going to do to start with is position these around the shelves and then kind of build all my books and picture frames and stuff like that around these key objects. So I might not use all of them and some of them were already on the shelves, some of them are like new things that I've brought in. And what I'll do is I'll work from the kind of eye line first and then I'll kind of put the less interesting or kind of more practical things at the top and the bottom. Just to kind of talk you through like random things I've got here, a bit of storage, like little storage boxes always come in kind of handy, especially in the living room if you've got like little lighters for candles or like bits of change and things like that. Um, a few just decorative things like in terms of plants, these are just some dried hydrangeas that I got given and um, succulents are quite good to go on shelves because they don't, they're they quite resilient so they don't need to necessarily be right in the light and they're a bit easier to like water and stuff because you only need to do it every now and then so they're quite good to have on the shelves so yeah I'm going to get started like positioning them out and see how we go from there. I've filled the shelves now with my different props from around the flat and I've kind of spread them out in terms of spacing wise and I've concentrated mainly on these top three shelves. I've got a couple of things down here and I know that this shelf is definitely just going to be full of books so I don't really need anything big on that shelf. Um, the only thing I'm not convinced about right now is the orange vase just because of the colours like the other colours seem to be going quite well with each other but the orange is kind of throwing it off but I'm gonna start dressing them with books and other pieces and see how we get on because sometimes it can change a bit. Thanks Mars. I've got a few little pieces like little boxes and kind of bookends and things that are smaller kind of decorative objects and I'm going to put them in after so I'll dress the books first. I'll probably start with the big coffee table books now and what I like to do with um, books when I'm putting them on the shelf is do some like stacked, some kind of leaning and then I also like to do some like horizontally stacked and then put like a little object on top. Um, it's kind of nice, like breaks up the sort of pattern a little bit and the symmetry of it. I like things to be like not really that symmetrical. So um, yeah, I'm going to start putting my books in now and then you can kind of see it all start to come together. Now I've finished putting in all of my books and I'm the sort of person that has a really varied taste in what I read so nothing particularly looks like it goes together and none of the colour color palettes kind of match or anything but I've done what I can to sort of keep them in tone with what was already happening and try and group them in size where I can. So I got all of the white paperbacks along here and then over on this side I sort of grouped some of the more vintagey looking ones that I thought worked quite nicely with this head 
and then the rest I just kind of did by size and you know what I was saying about that orange vase well now I've got all these different color books along here it actually kind of works it doesn't feel too um like weird having that orange there so that's what I mean about you kind of need to get other stuff in before you know whether something works or doesn't and you'll probably adjust it a lot along the way as you go which is just kind of normal if your books don't fill so this actually worked quite well because it perfectly filled that section but over here it didn't so the best thing to do is just kind of do a little lean of a couple in the middle and it just nicely spreads it out it's not too formal so if you want a really formal looking bookcase it's probably not right but you can do a little lean and I just did mine over on that side so that it wasn't I already had one here so I didn't want to do it there and in the middle kind of felt a bit weird because that was in the middle above so it's all about kind of um, as you'll see like that's on the left that's on the right that's on the left middle so it's just about like using your eye to kind of work out where things look good and keep standing back and looking at it from afar like if you're just doing it like this then you don't you can't really tell what looks good and then I'm just going to dress it with a few little finishing touches and kind of fill in like any of these little gaps because I don't really like to have a gap and that'll probably be it so I'm going to get on with that and then we can have a look at the finished product. I'm all done dressing the shelves, what do you think? I'm really pleased with it, I like that it's fresh, it's a change to what we had before, we've kind of shaken it up a bit, um, I really like the spacing of it, I'm really pleased and we also managed to clear out a load of crap while we were doing it as well so it's always quite good to just have a bit of a refresh and get rid of some old stuff. I like to blue tack like little cool um, postcards to the front just to kind of like liven things up a little bit and they're really cheap like good way to display art and just blue tack them on and then they'll stay there. I also like to tilt things like slightly left or slightly right like kind of angle them a bit just so that everything's not uniform facing forward which can just look a little bit too formal. You want it to look like over time you've kind of just like added things on there effortlessly and no one needs to know that you just spent an hour doing it. It's also good if you believe in like feng shui and kind of energy of your house to like keep clearing things and doing them again because it just keeps everything nice and fresh, nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. So yeah, I think you'll agree it looks a lot better. I'm really pleased with what I've done and hopefully you've gained some really good tips. I'll see you next time. High five. <laughs> it's fun. Well done. Okay, we finished. Finished. Woo.